Joseph Kasozi is a player right now with the Roxbury Pro Club, but in the recent past, he has played with the team called Rotex Pool Club, also in Kampala, a village called Ndeba, where he started playing competitive pool in the year 2012. Following year, he was signed up by another team called Perfection, and after Perfection, he then represented a giant team that was called Scrap Buyers in 2015. At the end of there, the mighty Samana Pool Club, the biggest team in Uganda's pool, signed him for his services for three years and he helped them win one uh, league title in 2018 he was bought up by Intinda Giants Pool Club the league competition that was played over two years was briefly intercepted by COVID but when the league season ended he was one of the players who won that league title with that team Tinda Giants Pool Club and then just after that 2022 after covid resumption of pool he was snatched up by Mbali pool club he also won a league title with that team right now he has been bought by a new team on the block big spending rocks berry pool club joseph kasozi is one of those players who have been there and done that he is a proud winner of three pool association of uganda calendar tournaments including the kampala open championship of 2016 the christmas cup championship of 2016 and as well as the grand open championship of 2022 he was invited to the national team the uganda pool the year 2016 he has maintained a slot on that national team up to date in fact that year he was one of the players who won the all africa black ball championships that were organized on home soil currently in the pool association of uganda rankings he is number three after number two who is none other than buanika mansur he faced off his first off with his opponent hazard lokoma a few times before in the recent past it is hazard who has been enjoying the lion's share of dreams talking of lion's share of wins here is hazard trying to win his first frame of the day which if he sinks in this black in the corner pocket closest to your screen on the right he will have equalized the match he himself hazard came to the limelight in the year 2016 when he jumped out of the training team of Takers Pool Club, a team in the Uganda Pool League, to claim a starting position in the team. That same year, he did something very unique, inviting all of the top players who played the sport in Uganda at a higher level to money matches and defeated most of them, including Alfred Gumiki's a black sheep. Ibrahim Sejim by very young Ibrahim but a very talented Ibra was defeated by Hazard Ivan Kanyasije Uthman Mokenya Sulamatobu Fahad Sawankambo all tested defeats to the hands of Hazard who was then a very young teenage boy and after conquering Uganda of course he lost too many matches to Amos and Joker here he is on black for he at least avoids fouling why it is safe. After that money match exhibition against Ugandan pool players, he proceeded with what they called the hazard tour to Kenya, playing money matches with the best players in Kenya, winning four money matches in a row, including victory against Fry Fred Karanja, victory against John Chalo and back-to-back -back victories against then seed number one of Kenya in Henry Mwangi. The year 2016, these are performances which preempted the Uganda National Team Technical Committee to invite him for national team selection trials as the Uganda National Pool Team, the pool cranes, were preparing for the All-Africa Pool Championships on, tops, on home soil. He passed the selections with flying colors and was invited to the team. He and Kasozo were part of the team and they both the, they won all the Africa team title. Hazard was a player on the starting team. Kasozi was not. He proceeded with a younger and growing career Hazard, but he was not so much among the winners until the 
year 2018 when he reached the semi-finals of the National Open Pool Championship, the car competition, and lost out in the semis to the eventual winner, none other than Buanika Mansur. The following year 2019, he became the first Ugandan to play the World Haybo Championships in China and lost out in the first round. He then played another Haybo Championship in Johannesburg, South Africa. After the tournament, he stayed in the country for one and a half years playing semi-professional pool. And during the COVID period, he moved on to Zambia to join the rest of the national team as they prepared for the All-Africa Blackboard Championships at the OYDC in Lusaka and with Hazard and yes, even Kasozi on the team, the Uganda national team came third after eventual winners Zambia, also behind the first runners up South Africa, Kasozi returned to the, uh, Hazard returned to the country late 2022. He participated that time in the King of the Table Championship at the end of the year, which he came second to Ibrahim Sejemba, and just one week later, another 16-man cup organized at Dice Lounge, also won by Ibrahim Sejemba with Hazard coming second. Since then, he has won seven weekly competitions like this one, including twice at Amigos, once at Diplomat Billiards Cafe, among his other places in the last big performance he had was coming second in the car competition the Nile Special National Open Pool Championship that was organized at the MTN Arena in Kampala late last year when he lost out to Caesar Chandiga in the final. Currently he is ranked sixth by the Pool Association of Uganda. Here is Joseph Kasozi trying to make it 2-1. There he goes. Joseph Kasozi 2 Lokoma Hazard Neil, I like to beg your pardon, scores in blue on left for Hazard, scores in red for Kasozi as by the scoreboard on the top left of your screen These two players, by the way, shoveled not exactly together, but we are part of the Ugandan, dele the Ugandan delegation that represented in Zambia and Zimbabwe in December last year at the Queen's Double Elimination Cafe Comp, comp as well as the Billiards Cafe Comp in Zimbabwe and Zambia, respectively. From Zambia, they moved to Zimbabwe. They slept in the same room, but as a person who also shared the same room with them, I'll give you one secret that even though they were on foreign soil, they were supposed to be a team. In Wisdom's house, those of you who are watching from Zambia, you probably know, you know Wisdom Dige. Wisdom, you're probably watching. Every night they were playing money matches against each other. I won't tell you who, but one of them left Zimbabwe after those two weeks without a single coin in their pocket, victim to the other. They made a pledge to each other. The moment they get to the country, they have to play a money match. That one was fulfilled. It was won by Hazard. He calls Kasozi a very, very weak player. In fact, still I won't tell you who. One of them came from Zimbabwe with the phone of the other. Even the phone had been lost to gambling. The argument they have between each other, each one claims that they are the better player than the other. And Wisdom Ndige, where you are watching, every time these guys made exchanges, they were using their local language, Luganda. And every time Wisdom was asking me what they were arguing about, I was telling them they are just making fun, but they were always, I would say, I, I would almost use the word quarreling as to why each one thought that they were the best player over the other. This is Hazard, he just almost gave away a game that was supposed to be his equalizer, here he is. He will now win the first frame of the match and he will Pull one back, Hazard one, Kasozi two.
the two players are both attacking players but distinct attacking style Kasozi likes to port uh, them both but he plays the white ball pretty much normal likes to hit the balls most of the times hard if they are long range target that is why he is nicknamed by his fans as the sharp shooter otherwise hazard hazard's attacking style is pretty much similar to that of ibrahim kayanja with the big spin on the white ball most of the time they rarely hit the white ball in the middle that is how he wins that is how he loses and the white ball is always very beautiful to look at when he's moving it around the table he has his nickname he calls himself the truth and he says he's the truth and other players are all false he actually makes it very clear that he is the truth and kasozi is false had to get the services of a very experienced person in the game to be the umpire of this match oscar or Chakachon, a living legend of the game former captain of the uganda national pool team former captain of rock catalina pool club Actually, he's the guy that was uh, captain of Uganda's national pool team when they won the All-Africa Black Bull Championships in 2016 in Kampala. Anthony Egesa, thank you for watching. Rashad Alvin, Busivaido, Richard Shapasuka, Robinson Matovu. Chaza Michael Richards watching from Kasui in Uganda. Masoka Meng Zakaria playing. You are watching from South Africa, Mzansi. Bagen Richard and Pius, you say, I, I told you that, and you can guess that it, that it is Kasozi who lost. I will not tell you who won, who lost the money matches. The one thing I can tell you is that one of them did not return back from Zimbabwe with a single coin in their pocket and even the mobile phone itself in fact after checking out of the airport the passport was confiscated and only recently did the person pay back the money to regain hold of his passport but i will not tell you who even inbox don't inbox me to ask who Manyara Zinyani, watching from Cape Town. Thank you for watching. Spina Kenny, Dumbala Ray Lloyd, Charity Andrew, Kamadi Yuji. You can keep guessing. As well, Munyoso. You're supporting Kasozi, the sharpshooter Elijah Lungu, definitely Zambian by the name Lungu Williams Mwasa. Also, most likely Zambian Nagawa Erickson Rick Ross. You refuse to participate in the tournament. I'm not happy with you. Just six to Mugisha. Thank you for that information. The truth is a nickname of a famous US boxer, Enroll Spence. Just six to Mugisha. You're Kenyan, but the name Mugisha is strictly a Ugandan name. I know you have Ugandan blood in you, but we have we miss you in the sport, Joseph. Fans are applauding Hazard for his sequence of shots. Tomorrow, guys, it is Ganda Ganda taking on Lubula Simon Racing to 16 for 1,000 US dollars, 6 p.m. East African time. We will be together. Same place, same venue. And then on Saturday, Ganda Ganda will take on Kasozi at Roxbury, another venue. And then Sunday, Ganda Ganda will return at this same place, taking on Ibrahim Kayanja. The opponents for Monday and Tuesday are not yet confirmed. If there is something, you will be definitely knowing there is still negotiation between Ganda Ganda's camp and a few players. But then Wednesday is Ibrahim Sejemba at Climax. And then Thursday, Caesar Chandiga. Ganda Ganda will then take a decision whether or not to extend his ticket because his stay in Uganda will have expired just according to the ticket his air ticket if he doesn't extend it then he will go to massacre to participate in that double life championship this is hazard the fasting black for the third time but he has lost missed once here he is hazard two 
Kasozi 2. Beg your pardon, the truth 2, the sharpshooter 2. The race is 6, by the way. Valeria Crush, you are asking where Ganda Ganda is. Ganda Ganda is at the venue. He wants to head start any one of these players with plus three, racing to 11. You never know, you never know, you never know. Of course, it can't be Kasozi because he has a money match with Kasozi. His good friends with Hazard, they will most likely not play. He cannot play with Musiram because they have a match. Mansur is a bit shy. He has pulled out. There is talk of maybe, maybe, maybe Ian Kazvi if he is to play with that offer. In case it is there, it will be live. In. If not, then at least you are watching some good pull already now. Yes, Charles Drilleba supporting Hazard Franklin De Bruyne. Good evening to you. Thank you for watching. TK is Kayombo Anthony Egesa. Alex Lexi Dean. Rick Vundila Taylor, you ask if Caesar was participating, the answer is no. Caesar will be moving back from his village. He went to check on his mom. Yes, remember he has been away from home for most of the most of this ending month. He went to South Africa for battles, came back for two or three days, then went to Nairobi for battles. Sometimes you just miss home. So at the end of the day, these guys are human. When they miss home, they have to go home. For Hazard to reach this final, he took down Lawrence Sengonge, winning the last three frames, while Kasozi took down Ian Kazui. Kasozi was more convincing in his semi final, by the way. Hazard, I would say. I would say that Lawrence lost the semi final instead of saying that Hazard won it. Because just as Lawrence was about to take the win, he just gave it away. Jerry Mabe Sebastian, stop your comedy. By the way, Jerry, inbox me your current contact. I need it. Anthony Gessa, thank you for watching. You are always watching. You've been a wonderful audience, ladies and gentlemen. Please keep it out throughout this Ganda Ganda experience in Uganda. A good crowd of players, fans, officials of the game have all stayed around. We are about 200 watching this game. It is not ending this tournament in bad time. It is 10 p.m. East African time. Not a bad time to end the tournament. The world is still awake. Players can travel home safely just as officials and umpires alike. Turija Jona Joka is at the venue. Officials of the procession of Uganda, Paul Wasike, the secretary, James Mwere, the vice chairman, Payasa Kampa, secretary for schools. Of course, the umpire of the day, Oscar, the former treasurer of the association, former captain of the national team. Look at this white ball movement. He is such a joy to watch this guy, especially when his game is on. He is managed by Dice Lounge. 
and I know they are on their phones watching. Shout outs to you, Chairman Mark. Chairman Mark, we miss a money match between Hazard and Ganda Ganda at Dice. We really do. Please make it happen. Shake tables, Chairman Mark and the entire Dice family. Eddie, I know it is Hazard in the lead and you guys are watching. Center more, Mr. Center more, please make something happen. Hazard needs a match with Ganda Ganda. Manuel Kasozi is managed by Jesse Multi Agencies. His manager is called Clinton Jagwe. Big shout out to you, manager Jesse, manager Clinton Jagwe. Thank you for the good work you are doing in Kasozi. That is why he's able to have these many matches with all these players. That is why he's able to travel out of the country. By the way, confirmed, I've seen Kasozi's visa to China granted. When I last talked to him, he was about to buy an air ticket. He is going to represent at the World Heibo Championships in Hebei, China. After this tour, after playing against Ganda Ganda, the next program for him is to prepare for the trip to China for the first time in his life outside Africa playing pool. And that is what talent can do. Thank you, manager Clinton Jagwe of Jesse Multi Agencies. Ricky Chikawa, watch Chelsea. Thank you for watching. Richard De Shapasuka, Sekben. Lennon Mohan, always watching. Vusivaide, watching from South Africa, Le Palele. Big shout outs to you, all the Wazansi, Bazansi people, all the people from South Africa. By the rest, big respect to South Africa. From the insights of this page, the biggest following. Although I stream this, most of these games are best in Uganda. The biggest following is South Africa, Uganda. <laughs> I can see Rashida Motesi, one of Africa's best female players. In fact, in Black Bull, I believe she's one of the world's best players. She's still at the venue. In a game like this one, I don't know who she's supporting. But she's better friends with Kasozi than with Hazard. He's her best friend among the guys who play is Ian. Among the ladies, of course, her sister. Kasozi doing exactly what he needs to do. He knows it very well that Hazard is a little more skillful. But Kasozi also believes in his own abilities, especially while in attack, he can take down anyone. The last comp that was played was won by him, by the way. Defeated Mansur in the final. And as for Hazard, it's some weeks since he last won a comp that was organized at Amigos in Kansanga about 20 minutes away from where we are five frames played this one is the sixth it's a short race to six this frame will be so important for hazard to try and go photo up for kasozi to try and equalize make things more interesting of two cushions and finds the yellow ball. Kasozi is clearly trying to play another snooker, another safety shot. 
this time it ends in failure because Hazard can see his yellow ball he will be trying to play connection try to put it in the corner pocket on the left but if the yellow ball can slide off the two yellow balls can slide off each other both of them can set in respective corner pockets like you can see him trying to do but the accuracy was not there at all Once again, 6 p.m. tomorrow, the Bola Simon, the computer taking on the bulldozer Jeremiah Green. Same venue, Sunday it is Kasosi's turn to test the bulldozer in a long race, money match, Saturday, and then on Sunday it will be Ib it will be Ibrahim Kayanja, Mesiram, Libra and Caesar are fixed for Wednesday and Thursday respectively. Yeah. Kasozi rarely misses shots like that one he has just missed. That's why he was given the name sharpshooter for putting balls like that one and pretty sharply. But he knows that in that instance he has not shot like a sharpshooter and is probably just about to be shot himself. Hazard has given himself a level of difficulty to put and maintain a good white. Maybe he will go for a safety shot. He's actually playing to put. It won't come easy to put and control this fight ball. It won't at all. He puts and opens up the two yellows. Good shooting this. We'll put the yellow ball he's looking at with a little backspin on the black ball. This is accurate. And the rest is a formality. Kasozi knows it that he is going to fall down. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, after Kasozi winning the first two frames against his base, biggest rival in the spot, he now goes 4 2 down. Even at the 2022 All Africa Pool Championships, these guys almost had a money match against each other. The only thing that stopped the money match, because they were not accepted by the National Team Te Technical Committee to gamble during the tournament, the only thing that stopped the money match was the fact that Kasozi's flight was due. But Hazard, remember, was staying in the country. He was not moving back with the fellow members of the national team. It was a big hit on hazard spots. The balls were well split, but in the movement, some of them made the clusters on themselves, so they find the game not so open. 
for him to attack easily. And it's no wonder that he decides to play a safety. Abafazi na Madoda. We are watching you from Swaziland and you upload you are uploading this as quality. Thank you for the appreciation, Trina Dennis. Yes, you call that a miss by Kasozi that game. Faridai Mganizashe, you're predicting hazard to win. Chikawa Ricky, Steve Maliti, Angofi Johnson Mandela, Obi Amposa. Amposa, you are you must be watching from somewhere in West Africa by your name. Maybe Ghana. Ghana is the country in West Africa that normally watches and a bit of Nigeria. You can tell us where we are watching from, Obi. Amposa. Spina Kenny telling us news of Chris Smelling be, being beaten yesterday. Good update, thank you very much. Boli Muhammad watching Swali and Senjiva. <laughs> Take away your comedy. Tawengwa Maingahama. Predicting Kasuzi to win, Derek Derek. You want results for today's Jerry's challenge? There was no money match today. Uh, there was this tournament that went on and one of the participants was Jeremiah Green. He was defeated in the round of last 16 by a, girl, a guy called Lawrence Sengonge who is now playing a third place match against Ian Kaziwe and they are playing a decider. Mambo Svaspe. Always watching Jack in the belly. He must be watching from Ndebele Ndebele from Zambia. Sadak Mahat, thank you for watching. Edwin Baka, Autumn 4. Greetings to you. You're waving your Ghanaian flag. Always waving your Ghanaian flag. Thank you for watching. Stan Limbewe, waving your Zambian flag. Mokasa Noah, watching from Zambwe in Uganda. Vangel Kwansa, also watching from Ghana. Very beautiful seeing Ghana on the stream nowadays. Peter Banda watching from Zambia. You say Kasozi will win. Willy Ketanui watching from Jumai Jumemira. You are welcome to the stream. Yes, we always go to Kenya. Even the Ganda Ganda tour may go to Kenya. You never know. Famik Mawale. You are watching from Malawi. Gentes country. Stanford Gentes country. I see a video you are waving your Zimbabwean flag. Thank you for watching. And Sanjeeva Sole, you say that Ganda Ganda will go back by border border. No, he won't go back by motorcycle because he has his flight to South Africa already booked. So irrespective of the results. By the way, don't dwell so much on what happened in the tournament. These tournaments are short races. There are some people who are good at short races and there are some people who are good at long races. Some are good at both. This is Hazard. He must play according to his best. He's more interested in the victory than even the money. Because the one player in the whole world whom he doesn't want to lose to is Kasozi. That is combination shooting. No problem in the black ball. Even better for him that Kasozi's balls are now reduced. He will take his time to aim. And it is the biggest miss you will ever see. He did not even hit anywhere near the jaw of the pocket. It will go down as the biggest miss of the tournament. Yes, yes. 
and amends are made. White should be safe. Yes, white is safe. White is safe. The table is well balanced. Hazard five. Kasozi two. Kasozi gets a well deserved timeout, but it is very easy for him. If he wants to win this tournament, there are four games left. He must win them all. If he loses one to Hazard, that will be it. Live commentary is resuming shortly.
This looks like the all important clearance that Hazard has been craving for. Not just by his body language and facial expression, even by his performance, he's the guy who has played clearly like he wants it most. He is the younger of the two young men. More aggressive both in terms of play and in his own life outside the table and a better deliverer. He's just trying to make Kasozi unhappy like you see. That is what happens when two rivals play. He is now laughing at his opponent, hoping this doesn't culminate into a money match after Jerry leaves the country. There goes Hazard. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of today's 32 man weekly comp is Hazard. We shall have a chat with him. He will not greet Kasozi. That won't happen. We shall have a brief chat with him. Hey, hello everyone. I want to take this opportunity to thank my brother from Anaza Maza, my captain, Mr. Eddie, shout out to my brother, Mr. Wilbrod, shout out to my boss, Mr. Mark, Mark Muzung, shout out to Dai's family, guys, guys, I'm back, thank you for supporting us, guys, you know, we really appreciate for everything, you know, guys, the only place to be is Dice Lounge, Munyoni, guys, don't forget. Yeah, man, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Soon, 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 my brother. Yes, there goes today's champion. Thank you for being a wonderful audience. We meet tomorrow. It will be Ganda Ganda taking on a computer here. Then on Saturday, he'll be taking on Kasozi. And then on Sunday, he'll be taking on Ibrahim Kayanja. This has been the crowd. They have, been, they have stayed. Some, a majority of them have gone. Of course, the match is ended. Next is the prize ceremony. But for now, I wish you a very good evening.